Okay, it's been an adventure, ladies and gentlemen. It has been an adventure. What happened to my double-sided sticky tape? So this mess gets plugged back from this guy, our fan controller. He gets plugged into here, like so. They are both gonna get sticky taped, I think, down there-ish. We're not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna get in there with my plugs. All right, so let me see what I need. I need three Serum ATA powers. So. It is really hard to see in there. It looks like I need another light. Probably should have plugged all this crap in before I, uh, put this hard drive in here. But I didn't, and now it's going to be impossible to reach in there. I'm taking the hard drive off. better. Now I can both see what's going on and reach in there. Let's plug in the things that need plugging. So this gets plugged in right there. It will go. Let's plug this one in first. So that's got to get strung that way, and we got to plug it in right there. Okay. Remember how I said that that should go under there and pop out over there? Well, I think I can make that work. I think I can make that happen. And then I won't have to run uh, this stuff so crazy. So we're going to unplug this from here. Here's this end. I'm gonna try and run it up under here, through there, and then try and get it in there. And then it'll kind of stick out like that. That's how I ended up looking. We're gonna have a power cable here, power cable here, power cable up here, and we should be good. I'm gonna try and set you guys back up. Okay. So. Power cable. Here. Power cable. What is it? Sure did. away because we know we're gonna have this power cable sit right there there is not much room for cable management in this that's for sure that was one of the downsides they said about this case is poor cable management we are going to need to use one of the these plugs for our fan adapters which sucks because otherwise this would be a really clean case. The only power we'd have to plug in is uh, the one for um, the case. And it turns out we're going to have to use all our plugs. That stinks. Alright. Get out of there. Plug that in right there. Go ahead and plug in the other one while we're at it. 
This is the one that goes to this one that goes to the four pin on the motherboard. I'm gonna plug it in while we're down here. there. It's kind of funny hearing me go, man, this is the best case ever. Golly, it's tight in here. Golly, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Now, before I get too far along in here, I need to plug my front panel in. Maybe I should do that next. Get this out of there. Let's get me in the front panel. in the butt to do once everything is plugged in. It's the last thing you think about. It's one of the first things you need to do. Okay. So we got our front panel stuff there. We got USB 3 here. Way longer than that needs to be. Seriously, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this cable? audio all the way in the back. Reset switch. Reset goes. Let's kind of shove all these. It is. I got a rat's nest going on here, though, that's for sure. Keep sure this cable. Let's just do that.
hard drive or something. Just have to go down the front. around This one goes right next to it. Do it. That would do it. In. You're in. You're now fully plugged in. And it's got a snake around. To plug in like how? Oh wait. Oh, I 
I think it is. Some things get too much more crowded in here. Check it out though, I'd never been able to get this done if I hadn't had that in there. Alright, get my screws. Put the hard drive back in. There's, I don't know how. This whole case here had to be designed to be cool or for cooler components because there is no way a case this size. With this much stuff in it can dissipate, you know, a high sevens worth of heat. Unfortunately, I shouldn't ever have to upgrade this thing until, uh, until our AMD get their act together and come out with an even more badass solution. I think that's gonna end up getting taped, like right here. Oh. That would've been cool if I could've done that. Take that screw out and screw that in like that. That would be ideal. That would be perfect, actually. Except that it won't reach. Screw it out. Slide that out of the way. Now, can I have this taped here? Yeah, I can probably glue that there. So I have to glue it this way. That's where that's gonna go. tape. That's gonna go right here. So then I can just reach the potentiometer. I won't be able to take any RAM out of this. I won't be able to do anything with this thing. When this thing gets done, it's gonna be as is for the rest of its existence. But what an existence it will have. Okay. space around the cooler, but not very much. Hopefully this cooler will be badass enough to do what I need it to do. Now I gotta run my data cables down there, into there, where I've got one plugged in, that's gonna be my hardest one. Right there. And maybe my second hardest one is gonna be right around there. <sighs> Alright. Let's do it. Everything is plugged in, everything is ready to go. All we gotta do is take it in the other room, put the uh, plug it in, turn it on, pray to God, um, verify everything works and boots, close it up, and that will be the Steambox build. It has been backward. So, uh, why don't you come with me? We'll take it in the other room, plug it in, and see how it goes. 
See you in a bit.